vibes. This morning I decided to take a little bit of time outside of the house just to honestly spend time crocheting because I pretty much work at home every single day. I'm constantly surrounded by all of the other tasks and business-esque things that I have to do such as being on the computer, editing, writing patterns, responding to emails, packing orders, dyeing yarn, yada 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 yada. The list goes on and on so I needed to kind of step outside of the house just get away from all of my other obligations and take a little bit of me time to just crochet. I can't believe that this is actually the first time I'm showing you guys on camera because I have been in the works writing a brand new pattern for like the last week and a half or so. And this is literally my first time showing it to you guys. So I just wanted to give you a quick little rundown of what I am currently crocheting. I am using one of my brand new colorways. This one is called River Spirit. Now she's really gorgeous because she has kind of an overall creamy white base but as y'all can see there are some really gorgeous pops of color I kind of like to think of this color as a transition from summer into fall so we've got some magenta some little pops of like a plummy purple a little bit of baby blues and then of course I really love these like very subtle champagne -y yellow highlights to give it a little bit more warmth. So this is what the colorway looks like all caked up, but the most exciting part of course is the whip. So believe it or not, this bad boy here is going to be turned into a long sleeve sweater. It's kind of like a very lightweight pullover and I really wanted to just, I really wanted to design something that was gonna be the perfect wearable in between that period between summer and fall. So what we have here is somewhat of an overall meshy pattern, but the really fun part is that I spent such a long time trying to write up a pattern and design these little like flower blossoms or like little starbursts. They kind of look like 3D flowers to me. This is what it looks like. So they are alternating. I need to close the blinds a little bit because the sun is too bright to show you guys these flowers. Got that slight meshy see-through. Honestly, it just gives it such a lightweight feel. But here are what those little flower bursts, these little flower blossoms are looking like. I don't know, I think this, this is like super freaking darling. So I already have the front panel done and at this point I'm just trying to catch up, make a little bit of time and crochet the back one. Don't worry y'all, I'm not speeding through this pattern. I've actually been having so much fun with this like repeat row pattern that I have. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I think by far this is like the most really fun and addictive repeat row pattern that I've worked on. Even like tutorial that I've worked on in like the last six plus months. So we're just gonna kick back a little bit. I do need to spend pretty much the next three to four days straight editing like three different videos. So I just wanna have a little bit of crochet therapy time. Let's get to it, I'm wasting time. <laughs>
hair slightly curled, done up a little bit. We also made another coffee featuring my new handmade coffee cups. I mean, they're not physically handmade by me, but I mean, I added the graphics. So look how cute that is. Coffee crochet repeat. Except for today because I need to get ready really quickly, do my hair, makeup, and get dressed because we're gonna be doing another pattern photo shoot. Your girl has finally finished up two new patterns, which means of course, Jordan and I need to head out, take some proper portrait product shots for the patterns, duh. So we're just gonna throw on some makeup really, really quickly and then I'll come right back. Makeup is a check. We're almost ready to go. And then last but not least, I need to just, you guys like how my pants are already unbuckled. Last but not least, I need to do a quick little outfit change to get ready for the photo shoot. But before I do, I wanna give a huge thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Now that it's already September of 2023, that means that it's the fifth birthday the fifth birthday of Ana Luisa. I just want to wish Ana Luisa a very happy birthday. And in honor of their fifth, they sent over a bunch of new pieces for me to showcase and show to you guys. And honestly, I felt like this was going to pair perfectly with the crochet fit. So the very first piece is this little arm cuff this little armband and this is the Nelly. So it's going to slip on really easily. Wait, wait, y'all know I love dainty jewelry. Look at that. So simple, but it's gonna elevate my everyday outfits. And then next up, they also sent over their Aura bracelet. Now this is really unique because like, look at the chain link. I don't know what this style is called, but it has a little bit more of a masculine type of feel. We're mixing unisex types of jewelry pieces. And honestly, I'm a sucker for that. Okay, so far, this is what we have. This is what the cute little outfit is looking like. This next bracelet is the Hannah. It's got little pearls and flowers on it. And then I think my favorite piece of this newest collection, this is the Julie Cho pearl necklace. Not only is she fully encapsulated, the little clasp is also a matching flower. So I'm gonna switch out my little necklace pieces and then show you guys the full final fit. All right, here is the final jewelry ensemble we have the really gorgeous pearl necklace right here I got that little Nelly bracelet on and this is what the cute little fit is gonna look like whatever I'm wearing whatever my fit is it always steps up the game and it literally makes me feel like a fairy tale like a fairy tale princess I mean look at this you can't go wrong with any of Anna Luisa's pieces they have unmatched quality every single piece is strength and humidity tested which means that they're gonna be long-lasting tarnish resistant jewelry that you guys can literally wear every single day of the week and to celebrate Anna Luisa's birthday they will be running a site-wide buy more save more sale and it's gonna run from the 3rd to the 19th of October I will leave all of the details here on the screen if you guys want to check out any of these new pieces and shop them for yourself, thank you again, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. gym today showered got a little bit of a little bit of DIY projects done and now while I'm waiting for my Amazon package to arrive so I can finish finish this tufting project we're gonna do a quick little PR unboxing if y'all don't like PR unboxings I don't know what to tell you when I was younger I used to head to YouTube and just like binge watch PR hauls I have no idea why I feel like just watching somebody unpackage something test it out show it off i don't know it kind of like entertained me so at the same time these brands are going out of their way to send me free goodies so i'm gonna do my due diligence here 
and show you guys what they sent over. So it looks like this very first package is actually from Benefit Cosmetics. They sent over their Fan Fest. Is this like a lash? Is this like mascara? Oh, I think it is a mascara. 24 hour lasting fan effect, smudge proof and waterproof. Really interesting packaging on this bad boy. I don't know guys, but this applicator looks like it's gonna help do me justice. The next little package I have here is from Urban Decay. This is kind of huge because I used to fangirl over Urban Decay when I was in high school. So the fact that they're just sending me stuff now, I'm a little speechless. Let's see, oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, already off the bat, look at this packaging. We've got these little cut out styrofoam stars for packaging to help protect it. No way. Did I just get a whole palette of Urban Decay eyeshadow? And then they were also kind enough to send over their eyeshadow primer potion so that I can accurately apply this first and then the eyeshadow palette. Wait, we need to open this. <gasps> look at this Urban Decay packaging. That is so freaking cute. Y'all, look at these colors. Look at these colors. I'm gonna have to apply them for today's photo shoot. We got a lot of sparkle, a lot of shimmer. And then last but not least, I also got this package here from Geology. If you guys didn't know, Geology is essentially a brand that creates customized skincare for all of your skincare needs. What? The heck? All right, first up, they sent over their Acne Control Super Clean Body Wash, and this is with AHA and BHA chemicals. So essentially this contains salicylic and glycolic acid, which is gonna be really helpful because in case I've never really mentioned it here on the channel, I do suffer from back acne. <coughs> Yeah, I'm almost 30 and I'm still dealing with it. So I'm gonna have to trust in the good Lord and hope that this helps to clear up the body acne. And then they also sent over, I think this is like a three step system. So it comes with an everyday face wash. I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. And then I can move on to their night cream with 0.2% retinol. I really like implementing retinol into my skincare just because it helps with fine lines. A little bit with the acne is just gonna help schleff off the dead, nasty skin that needs to leave your body and then let your healthy skin underneath breathe. And then the third step, or the fourth step is their moisturizing morning cream with SPF 15. And it says here that it also has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and argan oil. So thank you, Geology, Benefit, and Urban Decay for sending over these lovely goodies. I have a lot to kind of test out and implement into my everyday routine, but to be honest, I am the most excited. Why am I yelling? But I'm seriously the most excited about this acne body wash just because your girl needs help. I can't keep growing through this. Growing through it or going through it. I mean, I've been living with it, I'm cool with it, but if I can improve it, I'm gonna take that chance. 